Ooh, what's this? That's going to start a fire. Should we take it then? This place is falling apart. Okay, we can go in and we can look at this. Warning. Objects placed into this trash chute will be jettisoned from the ship. Mock chopper hmm. poop. Alright, well, something's gotta go in there, right? So we got that. I can go that way. And I can go that way. Let's go in here. Ooh, wait, hold is on. Is that a train? Hmm. This door doesn't open. That's going to start a fire. Everything's going to start a fire. Uh, hello? Looks like this closet is asleep. Right. All right, well, not this way. Man, this place is a mess. Mob Chathra may be alive again, but he doesn't look so hot. Everything looks like it's going haywire. Oh, poor Robo Babies. Can I? That's going to start a fire. That's going to start a fire. I'm aware. Can I... Looks like something horrible is in here. <laughs> but what? Uh, door won't open. Damn it. Okay. Please. Ooh. So much junk in here. That's gonna start a fire. Someone oughta fix that. Someone oughta. That's a good point. This must be the room where they melt stuff. Ice cream, oh. melt ice cream. Must be locked or something. I love that she. I love that she doesn't understand this, but completely gets the concept of space. Space, I understand. Mountains of hot fudge? No sense. Why are you all so sad? I'm here to help. I'm putting you out of your misery. Uh-oh. Ah, the belly of the beast. Or ship. Either way, monster or machine, I took it down before. Should be even easier from the inside. Wow, the entire screen is gone. Mom is completely missing. See? We're not in space, Dutch. I knew that. I'm the one that took this ship down, you remember? No, I'm the one that took it down. But let's not fight. Let's team up and take it down again together. As long as it involves me cutting stuff, I'm in. <laughs> Knife, best partner, 2015. All right, let's get up here. Is this the brain? Looks important. But also super fake. Must be a decoy. Okay. So. Not opening. What the what? Uh oh. We're gonna talk with Dutch again. See, we're not in yeah, space. Yeah, I'm aware. Though. Okay. Uh, we can go see the Weaver guy. Uh oh. Someone ought to fix that. Mm-hmm. All right, yeah, let's try this. Locked, maybe. What? If I could find the brains of this operation, I could open all these doors. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to do. Who qualifies as the brains right now? Okay. Kitchen? Locked. Mm. We're going so fast. Uh-oh, what is going on over here? Dad? Hello in there. Who's out there? Oh, Mom! I can barely hear you! Uh, my name's Bella. My name is Bella Tartine, and I'm here to take you down. D did you say Martine? Shay, is that you making a joke? Engineering department, just a routine maintenance visit. <laughs> Engineering department... Just a routine maintenance visit. Engineering department? What are you talking about? Is that you, Shay? Ship's on fire, you have to get out of there. Yeah, I'm gonna say it's me, Shay. It's me, Shay. Oh, really? Is that really you, Shay? You sound so strange. Damn it. I'm not gonna say it. It's me, don't you reckon? Okay, I'm not really Shay. If you don't believe I'm Shay, I'm leaving. 
Yeah, that's something Shay would say. If you don't believe I'm Shay, I'm leaving. Oh, I just don't know what to believe right now. My son would understand that. Maybe. Damn it. Can I talk to her again? Hello in there. Who's out there? I can barely hear you. Uh, ship's on fire. The ship's on fire. You have to get out of there. I know the ship's on fire. That's why I'm staying put in this fireproof room until I figure out what to do. Who is this? Ooh. Yeah, what if I ask this one? Is this Mog Chathra's brain? Mog off the train? I lost all contact with the train. Damn it. Uh, can you open the door? Can you open this door? I could, but I won't. Not until I know who you are. Damn it. It's all clear. All clear. It's safe to come out now. Safe? Who are you kidding? It's me, Shay. It's me, Shay. You sound so strange. I was injured. Yeah. I was injured. It's affecting my Mom voice. Mom will care. Oh, that sounds terrible. If, if it's true. Oh, I just don't know what to believe. Damn it, Mom. Don't you recognize me? It's me. Don't you recognize me? Well, not really, to tell you the truth. Okay, I'm not really Shay. Okay, I'm not really Shay. What? Are you playing some kind of cruel joke on me? Damn if it. you don't believe I'm Shay, I'm leaving. Oh, I just don't know what to believe right now. My son would understand that. Ugh, okay. The situation is far more dire than I originally thought. We need to figure out some way to convince her that I'm Shay, or bring Shay back to a ship that is no longer near where Shay's at. What's this? Some sort of living quarters? Ooh, we're definitely gonna go down there in a sec. <laughs> so sad. Ooh, crushed Shay. That looks pretty heavy. Okay. Gruesome. Wait, is that real? Definitely okay, not. Okay, that's definitely fake. Whew. Nothing else over here, huh? All right. Nice view. Both of them. Looks like we're going down the hole. Huh. Someone pried open this vent. I wonder why. Guess there's only one way to find out. Is the wolf down here still? Oh, there he is! Shay! You! It's you! The last one! We finally gonna get answers out of this guy? Who are you? Are you in control of this monster ship? No. She is in control. The brains. I was just a stowaway sent to save the young boy. Wait. Yeah. From what? What were you saving the boy from? From her. The one they call Mom. She's been programmed to keep the boy safe, but she's taken it beyond sanity or reason. Now he is her prisoner. We all are. Wait, what? Who? All right, are we going to learn actually about Mom right now? Who's her? I mean, who is she? She's the brains of this ship. Gotcha. You can find her in the room next to the galley. But be careful. She has eyes and hands everywhere. Okay, yeah. Uh, the boy's not here anymore. The boy's not a prisoner anymore. He escaped when I, uh, boarded. I see. Well, that shouldn't affect the mission. Which mission? To get control of this ship and end this madness. You sneaky liar. Yeah, wait. Is he the one who kidnapped the maidens? Is the boy the one kidnapping maidens? No. And, yes, he made the selections, but didn't know what he was selecting. He thought he was rescuing helpless creatures, because that's really what we were doing. Wait, what? How were you rescuing anyone? We were saving you <coughs> from the plague. What plague? Get me out of here and I'll explain. Don't you do it, girl. This man is trouble. This wolf man's trouble. Why did you have the boy select whom you were rescuing? 
Even our best technology is no match for the instincts of a boy like Shay, especially at his age. You're not really explaining anything. Thank you, Valor. It's <clears throat> hard for me to talk. Get this off of me, and I can explain <laughs> everything. You let him stand her there. We're gonna keep talking. Why did you call me the last one? You were the last creature, final subject of our rescue mission. She seemed especially interested in you on more than one occasion. Mm -hmm. And so why did you single me out? Why did you single me out? I assume he sensed your strength somehow, your spirit. I hope he was right. Okay, and where's everyone else? I know they're in that room, but she doesn't know that. Where are the other maidens you rescued? They're safe, but locked up. Once we get control of the ship back from her, we can free them. Yeah, but this is something that's been happening for generations. So what happened to all the other maidens? Like, there's... There's something you're not telling me, Wolfman. Where is this ship headed? I assume back to its homeland to deliver us to its masters. And where is that? What is that? Can we stop this ship? Yes, but only if we can get into the central control room. She's locked the door with some sort of manual override. It can only be opened by her from the inside. Okay. Uh, can you open any of the locked doors? Can you open any of the locked doors on the ship? Well, my arms are pinned, <laughs> but I think I can push this one button. Thanks. That's the best I can do. <laughs> Thanks. I can work with that. And then this one, because I want to see the response. Hey, wait, you're a wolf. Sorry, I've had a really strange day, and it's getting hard to recognize strange things right away. It's a long story. But I promise if you help me get out of here, I'll explain everything. I've got to go. <laughs> get into the central control room. It's the only way to stop this. I'm just going to leave you here. You do you. Uh, can we look at That's this? That's the switch he used to unlock that door over there. Better leave it unlocked. These big surveillance screens don't seem to be working. I don't want to free this guy until I'm 100% sure about him. At least Vela gets it. She's a smart cookie. That's Shay. Fell for all his crap. Hopefully she won't. We'll let him sweat it out. Yeah, because the girls are in there. Hmm. This door is locked. I wonder what they keep in here. The ladies, because last time I was here with Shay, it had all the little creatures we saved. And he's like, oh, that's where they're storing them. This is that dude's bed. Looks like some sort of animal sleeps here. And then we crawl through here. It's all starting to come back to me now. Uh... Looks like a museum in here. After a tornado. Wonder if I can learn something about that kid in here. Oh, and then I can use the information in some way to trick mom, maybe? Looks like some sort of medical report. Metabot exam report. Patient continues normal, healthy development. Unlike his first five years, this year has been marked by a remarkable growth spurt. In one year, he has grown two inches taller and gained three shoe sizes. Splarg therapy appears to be working. Splarg? Splarg? Shea Volta, best actor, Purple Boots, the musical. Okay. Uh, can I look at any of that? Looks like a note written by a little kid. Dear Shoe Fairy. Thanks for the shoes. Aw, the red striped ones were cool, and so were the green ones with skulls. But next year, could I please have red shoes with skulls? Please, please, please. Thanks, Shay. Hmm. Sheesh, demanding. <laughs> oh, this. What a sad sack. It looks kind of happy. It says, safety award, footwear category. Kid likes his shoes. First place, hugging, hugging marathon. marathon. Mm -hmm. We should have one of those. Second place, shoe tying contest. Who beat? Him? Who beat him? One of those damn little happy robots. It's a painting of what looks like a red boot. Dude is obsessed. 
Shay's first space boots, age five. Hmm. Um, that that train, train wreck looks like ominous foreshadowing to me. Oh, that's funny. Cause that's what we had. That's what we had to do earlier. Is wreck the train. I wonder if he lost his first teeth by licking a moving beater, like I did. I, I don't think so. What is this? I'll give this guy one excuse. He had a weird childhood. <laughs> Those are his yarn buddies. That's not weird. It's cute. I bet someone was trying to knit socks and they ended up too long, and so snake. Mm-hmm. Is that it? There used to be a little guy over here. Where'd he go? Can I go in you, door? Uh, hello? Hey, who are you? My name's Bella. What's yours? Mine? Well, mine is, uh... Gosh, it's been so long since anyone asked. Let me look it up. It's Melanie. Huh. Are you a closet, Melanie? Kind of. Step inside. I'll show you. Alrighty. Good. Now close those eyes tight to make sure your eyeballs make it to the same place you do. Oh, it's the teleporter. What? Let's see if this works. Am I gonna come out with a bigger Surprise! head this time? I'm a teleporter. Now you tell me a secret. <laughs> Oh, hey, Melanie. where'd the other room go? What's wrong with my head? And my voice? Oh, no, I thought I had that fixed. You made my head bigger. Don't worry, sweetie, it's temporary. Take a trip back through me and I'll set things right. This is weird. Yeah, but space was okay, though. Space inside a monster, totally cool. That's fine, so we got uh, a bunch of sleeping dudes. Go this way. Hello. No. Oh, wait. I can. I can, and I will. And what are we gonna find over here? Uh, we're back this way, and then I can go in here now. Awesome. Okay. So the teleporter effect makes my voice deeper. Maybe that's how I convince. I'm just trying to figure out a way to convince mom. That's our our puzzle right now. I feel like if I just start doing the teleporter thing that I did to Shay, and and just lower my voice and get a bigger head, it might work. Hi. Who wants to go to the starboard passageway? Close your eyes and don't look down. And... Big, oh, oh. Make sure to give me a five-star review, okay? Ah. Oh, there's my old head again. Are you sure? It still looks a little big to me. <laughs> yes. This is all brains. All right, all right. Okay, that didn't... We need to go back in. Oh, honey, we need to talk about your perfume. What a catty teleporter. Oh, honey. Big head? Great. All there? Great. You made my head bigger. Don't worry, sweetie, it's temporary. Mm-hmm. Okay, so what about middle? Hello? You no? know, she hasn't said much since the ship was attacked. Hope she's okay. She's just being a drama queen, so she'll get special maintenance. Give it up, Nadine. Yeah, Nadine. Uh, go back through here again. Hi, Mel. Back to the junk room. Let's see if this works. Ah, oh, there's my old head again. Didn't work at all. You haven't eaten in at least an hour, have you? Okay, I think I need to, uh, I understand what I need to do. Teleportation. You made my head bigger. Don't worry, sweetie, it's temporary. So, I have to go back. That's why this way exists. So I'm going to walk back through here and go back to the room with all the stuff in it. Take the teleportation thing all the way back again. Get an even bigger head. Even deeper voice. Ghost, I had him up. Convinced that's what I need to do. All right. Let's keep going. She's not going to believe me yet. But I can go one size bigger. This I'm aware of. We go down. Up. Then we'll go this way. 
<laughs> this poor guy's like, uh, any help? No. Oh, wait, surveillance what? surveillance screens oh, don't seem to be working. All right. And then we'll crawl through here. Jackpot. Nice. All right, then back in. Bo -bo 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 uh -uh. What? What's wrong? Can't go the same direction twice while we're having that head thing. Really? Yeah. Come back through me from the other side. You and your head will be approximately good as new. What? But that was my strategy. Oh, man. Okay. Well, then, what if I do this? Go back this way. The other one seemed up to working, yeah? That's the switch he used to unlock that door over there. Better leave it unlocked. So we'll go this way. And then... We will take a different path? I'm not sure what path that is gonna be, but we're gonna take it. Okay, so there's the kitchen. I can't get in there. Sad face door. Thanks for opening. Oh, what if I do this now? Is this gonna teleport? No, that's, not, that's gonna put me in there. Man. What the what? Wanna, all right, let's go back this way. And try this door. Hold the phone. Hold the phone. All right, keep going. We're going all the way back. I'm going to figure this damn thing out. I know there's a way to do this. It's just you have to go a certain order. That's fine. That's fine. We're going to do it. Ah, uh, jackpot. Hey there. Back to the Nexus. And ginormous head. Fingers crossed. Yes. Thanks for choosing teleportation. Now it's even bigger. Don't push it, honey. Come back through me before you pop. Mm-hmm. That's good though, because now I can go over here. And we'll go back out. And then we'll go see mom, yeah? This should convince her. I think that's what we're going for, right? Hopefully this plan works. Hello in there. Yeah. Who's out there? I can barely hear you. It's me, Shay. It's me, Shay. You sound kind of funny. It must be the intercom. Yep. But still, I need a little more proof, Shay. What? I mean, whoever you are. I want to believe it's you, Shay, but everything is just so strange right now. How do I convince First you? First crash, and then my controls went dead, and now I can't reach your father. I just, I don't know who to trust. So just make me feel better by answering a few easy questions, okay? Oh, no. Um, oh, no. Sure. All right. First question. What was the name of your favorite stuffed animal as a oh, child? Oh, no. Missy, Princess, Mr. Big? Uh... I know from playing as Shay, he never had a Missy or a Princess. I'm gonna say Mr. Mr. Go on. What the hell? I don't know any of, uh, maybe the snake? Mr. Huggy? Cause he won the Hug Award? Huggy. Is that your answer? Yes. Mr. Huggy, I see. Oh, Shay, I'm so glad you remembered Mr. Huggy. He oh, great. He was first friend I, ever knit for you. I'm starting to feel kind of bad about this. What was that? Nothing. I see. Well, I have another question for oh, you. Oh, no. What? Of all my little pet names for you, which one was your favorite? How am I supposed to remember this? She called me a bunch of nicknames. I don't know that any of these are the ones she called me, but I know that she... Can I say, please, can we not... Is that the Shay answer? Can we try that? Please, can we not do this? Please, 
Can we not do this? That's... that's exactly what you used to say all the time. <laughs> you hated my nicknames. Perfect. I mean, Shay did. Now, just one more question for Sandy. What? I used to make my son new space boots <gasps> every year until his ninth birthday. I know this he one! insisted on machine-made boots from the replicator. As he would surely remember, I tried to keep things fresh by never repeating a color but He always or wanted a, a certain one. So, please tell me what was the color, size, and pattern of his very first space boots. Oh, the bronzed ones? Um, oh my god, what was that? Uh... It wasn't red or green because he wrote the letter about that. Uh, he was in a purple play. Purple? Purple. And the size? Oh, uh, size four. I remember size that. Size four. And the pattern. The bronze shoes had like little bumps on them, right? So. Uh. Polka dot. Polka dot. Shay! It is you. <laughs> I don't know how that worked, but okay. Wait, what? You're not a computer. You're not Shay. Whoa, 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 whoa. Mom is a mom? Oh. Who are you? What have you done to our ship? Where's my son? Wait! Whoa! Whoa! What? What? Wait, yeah, we're just going on the list. Who are you? And why have you been kidnapping girls with this ship? Are you insane? Uh, no? My name is Bella Tartine. I shot down your ship. What? Why? We are an unarmed deep space vessel on a peaceful mission. Um, no. What? I'm totally confused right now. Where is the big mom computer that controls this ship? Mom computer? What, what are you talking about? The wolf told me about you. I Look, yeah, no, answers now. The wolf told me about you. Okay, now just calm down. You need some help. We're not in space, lady. You are not in space. Look at that window. Well, not anymore. You shot us down. No, you were never in space. It's all fake. The stars are on the inside. On the outside, you're a monster. But... She's right, my friend. There he is. That's the wolf I was talking about. That voice. Hey, why aren't you trapped under that junk anymore? I am no wolf, am I, Hope? I'm an old friend. <gasps> Marikai, what are you doing here? I'm here to finish Operation Dandelion for you. I'm sorry that we had to keep some aspects of the mission secret from you and your family. But how are you... You said our world was dying. It was, but then you went forth and found our salvation. As so many have before you. The Mogs. Sorry about the outer space theatrics. Just a precaution to save you from the temptation to go native as some of your predecessors did. We were never in space? <laughs> no. Laruna is a great empire unto itself, but it is part of this very same planet. Beyond the Plague Dam. Funny you should mention that, Bella. Because here we are. What is even happening? Now, I prepare the ship for sterilization, you two sit tight and relax, and know that you are contributing to the well-being of many generations to come. What are you talking about, Conehead? Captain, up here, I'm a weapon. What is going on? I don't know about you, but it got real weird all of a sudden. I don't know what is happening. Mom is actually mom, and Wolf is big head man? And clearly Shay knew his parents, so why were we led to believe that mom was a robot? But were we led to believe that? Did Shay always know mom was mom and dad was dad? 
Or, oh, there's so many questions. What is happening?